Hey Divine, how are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB and today I just wanted to come to you guys and tell you how imperative it is for you to travel. Now I know that there is a lot of things going on in everybody's lives, as is mine, but um, traveling helps us get our minds out of certain sticky sort of situations out of a rut unstuck in a sense right because our mind is everything our mind is so important and when your mind is unhealthy and you're in an unhealthy environment or thinking about negative things in the past or thinking about too much into the future because you're worried about what's to come or what's not going to happen or like I said, you're too focused on the past. Maybe you've been abused. Maybe you've been neglected. And all you keep doing is thinking about those issues. Or you could be in a house where the people are not good for you. They're toxic. They're narcissists. They're demons. And if that is the case... I want to encourage you to travel or to move because there's a young lady that my heart goes out to. We have to move. We have to get out of our situations that are toxic. Everybody has to. Everyone has to. So aside from moving, when you know it is imperative, and if you can, jump on it. Get out of that toxic environment because it's messing with your mental the next best thing is travel. When I am in shitty situations or if I'm overwhelmed or very upset and things are just not, you know, going the way I need them to be in my environment, whether I'm surrounded by people or I'm extremely lonely and I just, you know, got in a moment where I just can't take it, you know, because I'm used to being alone and I enjoy it. But sometimes every now and then I get to thinking like, well, damn, this is, you know, it's not so hot to be this way. <laughs> and that's rare. It's very rare. But when I find myself in those situations, I go. I go. I bought a van to go. I bought a, a trailer to get out of there. You go by any means necessary, right? By any means necessary, get out of that environment for a moment in time if it's just temporary. When you, when you take yourself to a new environment, a new surrounding, it makes you feel so good. And for a moment in time, you could forget about all of your problems and all of your issues. And once you do that, you create it's like uh, dopamine. Dopamine is what we do. You know, when we eat things that, that makes us feel good or when we smoke or drink or things that make you feel good temporarily. That's what, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the chemicals that make our brain say, oh, this feels good. This feels nice is what you're searching for. And then when you get a little bit of that, you want it to last longer. So I'm telling you to travel by any means necessary. Go country to country, like I do, country to country, state to state. If you can't go state to state, go city to city. If you can't go city to city, take your behind to a park. Get a tent. Enjoy Mother Nature. It will make you feel so much better. I promise you. I promise you. Like I said, even if it's only temporary. Now, if you're in an environment where you know you need to get out of permanently, then you need to make that move. But we're talking about temporarily, right? When our minds just won't stop. You get to that place where it's like, oh, this is nice. Oh, I could live here forever. And then you start, you know, eventually enjoy that for that moment, right? And then eventually when that has settled down a little bit, then you start thinking of new ways 
to heal your thoughts, to heal what's going on in your heart, to change the situation that's at your household. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why you take yourself out of it so you can examine it. And when you take yourself out of it, you take yourself to a new, nice environment, whether that be Mother Nature, because she's so beautiful, so magnificent. I love spending time in Mother Nature. And you get to feel appreciation, number one, and let that sit in. And this is how I want to feel for the rest of the week. This is how I want to feel. When I get back home, this is how I want to feel. So I'm going to change X, Y, and Z. I'm going to work on X, Y, and Z so I can keep this feeling inside of me excited when I get back home to my situation because I'm going to change it because now I have a clear head, a clear space, a clear mind, and I'm able to do such. You know, I want you guys to do that. Traveling is important. It's imperative for your mental health. Depression lasts for too long and we don't know how to get out of it. One of the ways in getting out of depression is getting out of your environment. Whether that be mentally, physically, or spiritually. But physically, take yourself out of the environment. Examine it. Rewrite your story. Work on that problem. Go back to the environment happier, better, because you had a clear mind and you were able to think clearly on how to get yourself out of that situation, okay? I love you guys. I just wanted to give you that quick tip because as I go about, the reason why I do what I do is because I got to do it. Somebody asked me that question earlier and, and I told them it's for my mental. I need it. And if I wasn't able to go country to country, I would go state side to state side. Like I said, I purchased a van to go city to city. I did that and then I let that van go because it wasn't meant for me to go to travel like that. All right. I love you guys. Get out. Move. All right. Take care.